picking up. Little Richard could not find his toy train. He had looked for it everywhere, in the toy box, under the bed, and even in the chest of drawers. But the little train was not to be found. He called his mother to help him find it. When she looked around the room, she said, Little Richard, your room is so untidy that I'm not surprised you can't find your train. It must be here somewhere. Tidy your room and you will find it. Little Richard's chin began to wobble and his nose turned very pink the way it always did when he didn't want to do something. Do you mean I have to tidy my room now while I'm looking for my train? He asked, his voice all high and squeaky. Yes, now, said Mother Rabbit. Your toys are all over the floor. I'll help you, little Richard, said a cheery voice at the door. And there was Prickles the porcupine, who had come over to play. Little Richard must tidy his room before he can play, Prickles, said Mother. Will you really help? Oh, yes, Mrs. Rabbit, said Prickles. That would be nice. Now I want to see a tidy room when I come back, said Mother Rabbit. And off she went. I've lost my train, Prickles. I can't find it anywhere, said Little Richard. I'll help you find it, Little Richard. I'm a good picker-upper, said Prickles. And he was, at first. He picked up Little Richard's big green ball and bounced it around the room until it bounced right into the toy box. He sailed a paper aeroplane until it landed in the box too. Then he sat on the floor and piled blocks one above the other against the wall until they were higher than he was. You're just playing, Prickles. You're not helping, said Little Richard, picking up crayons from the floor. Oh, I'm helping, said Prickles. Just look how tidy the blocks are. But we've got to find my train. It's my favourite, said Little Richard unhappily. Maybe it's in your bed. I'll help you look, said Prickles. They both climbed onto the bed and soon they were jumping on it, trying to see who could jump the highest and squealing, Ooh! They almost fell off. They crawled under the covers and pretended they were inside a tent. Then Prickles crawled off the bed and across the room with the blanket over him. The toys on the floor were dragged along by the blanket and because Prickles couldn't see where he was going, he and the toys crawled through the cupboard door. He was funny to watch. Little Richard lay on the bed and laughed. Inside the blanket, it was dark. Prickles stood up and there was a terrible crash from inside the cupboard. He had tripped on something and fallen down. Then there was a squeal and Prickles called, I found it, Little Richard, I fell over it. He crawled out of the cupboard, holding up Little Richard's favourite train. Oh, Little Richard was so happy. Mummy, come quickly. Prickles found my train, he called, holding it tightly. Mother hurried to the bedroom door. She was happy to see the little train again. Then she smiled as she looked round the room, with the blocks piled against the wall and most of the toys dragged off the floor. Well, now the room looks tidy, she said. But you didn't have to put the blanket away too. When Mother had gone, Little Richard and Prickles hurried to the cupboard, shook out the blanket and put it neatly back on the bed. Of course the toys fell onto the floor again. But Little Richard was happy. He had found his train. And they would tidy the room later. Thank you.